What's up you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about some Star Wars Black Series. I haven't done a video on one of my favorite uh, franchises and toy lines of all time in a little bit. So, Black Series. We're not talking about the Fire First. We're going to be talking about Star Wars Black Series toy line as a whole again. Uh, so, the Clone Wars in the prequels, okay? I've talked about this before on the channel. But if y'all don't know and y'all watching this, watching me for the first time, I grew up with the prequels, the Clone Wars, and, you know, just just the fact of me growing up with it, it's not even about that. It's just that the sheer fact that the prequels and the Clone Wars, at this point in time in the world, I'd say, is probably the most iconic and legendary part of the Star Wars franchise. Now, I don't want to, you know... Steer away any original trilogy, you know, fanboys. But I think that's basically where the world is heading and where the world is at right now. Especially when millennials and Gen Z are getting older. We're now basically adults, most of us. Unless if you were born in, like, you know, the mid or late 2000s or whatever. So, with that said, Black Series. Black Series team at Hasbro. Guys, I'm talking to you. We need more prequel era and Clone Wars era characters done, or not even just characters, figures in general of characters that we may have already gotten, like a different version of Kid Fisto, Plo Koon, Kiati Mundi, Anakin, Obi Wan, blah blah blah, Ahsoka. Um, we, phase one Rex, Phase one Cody, Phase one Fox, Bly. Come on, come on. We still need, um, Luminara, we still need Sacy Tin. Give us the Clone Wars cartoon version of Sacy, the movie version, and the Clone Wars 2D version. I mean, that's like that's like two repaints slash remolds right there off the same mold for Sacy. And we all we all know that Hasbro loves to do their repaints and remolds of the same you know figures, characters, and molds and whatever. So I mean, it's it's a no brainer. But we all know Black Series team. With Hasbro, the Star Wars brand really hasn't been, you know, the greatest toy line in the world in recent years. So, um, <laughs> it's just thinking of all these characters, thinking of all these uh, figures that they haven't done yet. And it's been over 11 years since the Black Series toy line has been going on at Hasbro. It makes no sense to me. I mean, I know they were trying to go hard with the sequels few years back when those were going on, the Disney Plus shows, that took up a lot of slots these past couple years. But I feel like there needs to be a bit more of a balance because, let's be real here, how many Star Wars fans... Okay, I don't know how to, how to word this, but I'm going to word it. Wouldn't more Star Wars fans be clamoring for more prequel... Clone Wars era figures to get made, and even I'm gonna even go a step further. Original trilogy stuff that we still haven't gotten yet, or originally tr original trilogy stuff that need redos because of how old and terrible those figures are now, uh, as opposed to more Disney Plus stuff, more sequel trilogy stuff, or whatever the new movies are going to be in the next couple of years. It's I I don't think. <laughs> I th I, well, let me word, let me word it this way. I think the demand is way more greater for prequel era and Clone Wars stuff than what the majority of Black Series we've been getting pretty much since the toy line's inception. I'll just put it that way. Like it's just it's just two things that right off the bat you say we have we have never even gotten before in Black Series, and you're going to be like WTF? Phase one Rex, Phase one Cody. Are you kidding me? We haven't gotten a new Episode 3 Anakin or Obi-Wan yet? Are you... <laughs> it's It just makes no sense. And we still don't have Luminara, Sacy Tin. Um, what are some other absolutely freaking epic prequel Jedi? Um, I'm trying to blink on some of their names. Those two, those two black women Jedis, I'm forgetting their names. Those would be awesome. Uh, Luminara's Padawan, I f isn't it like Barris Offrey or whatever her name is? I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on her name. Why don't we have her yet? Why don't we have, oh my god, Alpha? Why don't we have Clone Alpha? 
Um, phase two Fordo. I mean, we look, we got phase one Fordo two years ago. Two years ago. <laughs> Where is phase two? Uh, Blue Arc Troopers. Where are our phase one Blue Arc Troopers, Hasbro? We want to build our Munilis 10 team. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but we want to build that team. That's one of the most, <laughs> I was about to say iconic, but I'm, I'm going to tread lightly there. Um, one of the more sought after and beloved clone teams. There we go. I hope I said that right. Um, <sighs> come on. And not even talking about the vehicles and the Haslabs, the potential with that for Hasbro and Black Series. It makes no sense how they have how they haven't even tapped into that yet. Um, Republic gunship, Anakin's starship, Obi Wan's, Mace Windu, Yoda, Plo Koon. Where are the vehicles, the prequel era, Clone Wars vehicles, even original trilogy vehicles? There's still so many missing. Like, I know it's hard to do these big six-inch scale uh, vehicles. You know, they they barely even do it for uh, classified. And you, even when they do, it's a HasLab. I mean, what? <laughs> Instead of doing this stupid Rancor a few years ago... Why not give us a Republic gunship? That thing would have funded like hotcakes. Why not give us Anakin or Obi-Wan's ship? It, that would have funded like hotcakes. Again, it makes... And another problem, but I covered this in a video like a month ago. 501st Trooper, Target exclusive. Are you kidding me? I mean, this doesn't go for a whole lot online, at least right now at the time of this recording, but you bring out this brand new freaking mold with this beautiful unmasked... Tamar Morrison head sculpt, you do all these extra changes to the mold to make it even better than what it was before, and you make it a target exclusive for arguably the most popular clone army and pretty much the most popular army builder in Star Wars right behind the Stormtrooper, I'd say. And it's a target exclusive. Hasbro must hate money. Like, I know they already make their sales when Target buys the stock and Target makes the deal with them, but still... Wouldn't they make more money if Target had more of an availability for these things and they could and they could order more copies of these guys to sell to us? I don't know. That's just me thinking out loud. I don't know how their system works over there, but <sighs> it's just weird to me. Fact of matter is, I don't want to ramble on too much longer, you guys. We need more prequel era and Clone Wars era figures made in Black Series. It is ridiculous. All these... I mean, Yoda, we don't... <laughs> Another one, Yoda. We don't even have a proper prequel era Yoda. People are still kit bashing the same Yoda in um, wired cloths on eBay for the past five, six, seven years. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We need we need more prequel era stuff done in Black Series. That's just that's just what it is right now. Um, hopefully, I'm proved wrong within the next year, a couple years, whenever. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below. What do y'all think about this? Do you think we need more prequel era and Clone Wars era figures done in Black Series? Or do you think Hasbro is moving at a good pace with those era of Star Wars characters? All my social media are linked down below. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. My email is also down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries, if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama for me because... I make dioramas for people for stop motions, photography, or just regular display shelves in your homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social medias or just e uh, bleh, sorry, or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.